Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's still January 24, 2011. I figured I wasn't done making videos yet tonight. I had a couple more things to say. I figured you guys wouldn't mind. I appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos, leaving your comments, sending me the personal messages. I really appreciate it. I watch all your guys' videos. I'm on YouTube all the time. I, I check it out all the time, waiting for the updates. Uh, again, I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, I was watching a guy's videos earlier. His name's Silverpot. He's got a couple of really cool little videos. And he was talking about how he uh, went to the bank and picked up uh, half dollars. And uh, he didn't have too much good luck, but he found this, you know, really nice half dollar, and it was real shiny. It looked really good. I, I, I wanted to go get one. I was like, this is good. I like that. And uh, I was thinking, you know, that's I, I do the same thing, but with pennies. Um, I have gone down to the bank and exchanged it for pennies. I go to a local store by my house and pick up rolls of pennies, or uh, when I'm out. And I spend my money, I get my change, and I come home and I, I put it in this little Christmas tin. I just I just dump it all, you know, I just throw it all in here and just let it sit here. Then when I get the chance, I, uh, you know, just walk over there and check it out. And I, and I pick up a coin and I'll go through it and uh, I'll just pick it up and look at the year. You know, real quick, glance through the year, see what it is, and determine whether, you know, it's copper or not. You know, it's... 80, uh, half 83 and below. And then I take it uh, and I put it all in this big jar right here. And this is everything 83 and below, above that uh, it's just its regular value. Whatever it's stamped on here. I got the nickels and dimes and quarters in here. Nothing with, you know, the silver in it that I'm looking for. So I just throw it in this big old heavy container until it gets filled up. Then I'll go turn it in. And everything else that I pick up in this little Christmas tin, that's not this, you know, fiat money we got right here, I put in this little container right here. And all this right here is all the 82 and below. And I don't keep the half 83s because I don't know what 83s are not. And, you know, and I don't want to sit there and go through each penny at that time. So I've just been making it easy and keeping 82 and below. This right here is is good. You know, this is copper. This I don't have no idea what's in here. I haven't checked the years besides the one time to see if it goes in this jar. If our currency failed, uh, this big old jar right here isn't going to be worth anything. Nothing. It doesn't have any value. It kind of follows the dollar. It's not really, not really valuable. This, though, on the other hand, it's got copper in it. It's got melt value. Now, it's illegal to melt you know, actual currency. So don't, don't you guys go out there and just start melting pennies. Just collect it. Just hold on to it. Don't do anything else. Keep looking out there for those pieces. They're still out there in circulation. You know, I heard uh, they, they mentioned they might be taking all the copper pennies out of circulation. So, you know, go get them while you can. Keep buying those half dollars and keep looking for the silver. You know, it's out there. I also had a re uh, recommendation. This uh, book right here. Bam! Sorry for you guys who live in other countries. I, I don't have a, a coin book for some of the other countries of the people I speak to out there. This is only for the United States, United States coins. This book is awesome. It comes in two editions. And if uh, if I'm not mistaken, the way the guy explained it is there's a, the red edition and a blue edition. The red edition is more for your, your, your buyer and your seller. And that blue edition is more for your, your buyer, the person who just, you know, collects and buys coins. I got the red edition because I'm in the market of, uh, of making money. So if it comes to make some money with some of my coins, that's that's what I plan on doing. It's a great book. You got to read it. You know, I opened up the front page and started reading. I, I know a lot of you guys out there like to just, you know, glance through and look at the pictures and 
you know, check out pictures, you gotta look at it, guys. You gotta actually read it. You gotta open it up. Page one. You know, page two. Keep keep going. It, it'll make you smarter when you read. Um, I recommend you guys picking this up. So when you're out there, you know, metal detecting or coin shopping or out in town, you find a coin, buy a coin, want to check a coin out. This is a good book right here. It's got a lot of really good information in it. It's only about fifteen bucks. Check it out. Uh, again, guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, it means a lot to take the time out of your day to pay attention to someone you don't know. And uh, I like all the feedback and the comments and the personal messages. And uh, thank you very much. Keep stacking. Keep the videos coming. Keep the research going. Keep prepping. You know, keep being as good as you can be with everything that you're doing in life. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys later.